<clears throat> a very warm welcome to you all for to the session number 159. And in this uh, new trends chapter, we'll be learning about the transfer pricing issues. But before that, a quick recap. Impact of technological international business is what we had uh, uh, we had covered in the last class, learning objectives here. Uh, Offer this class, the, the objective to make you to have this session is to make you understand the concept of transfer pricing. And after this, you'll be able to exhibit the knowledge of transfer pricing. Session number 59, this session, what are the contents of this is transfer pricing, advantages of the transfer pricing, and the risks associated with the transfer pricing. See, transfer price is the price at which related parties transact with each other, such as transfer price is a price at which related parties transact with each other, such as during the trade of the supplies or the labor between departments. Transfer price are used when individual entities of a large multi-entity firm are treated and measured as separately run entities. Transfer price is the price at which the products or uh, 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 anything which is uh, the, the product or the supplies are uh, the transacted at a price that is called between the different departments of the same organization is called as a transfer price. A transfer price is a price of transfer to some other department. Okay, this is called as transfer price. Then you have what is transfer pricing. It is the price to which one had quarter transfer products or services to its associated, very important, enterprises located in different countries. Transfers prices are applied to multinational groups to evaluate the performance of their different members, branches, and subsidiaries. The transfer pricings, uh, pricing is the policy, you can say, or uh, it's a process of pricing, or it's a way of uh, fixing the price of those products and services which are transferred from one, from the headquarters to the branches and uh, the branches uh, to the or the associated enterprise. At what price are they to be transferred? This is called the, 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 the deciding that it is called as a transfer pricing that is transfer pricing what are the advantages of the transfer pricing there are lots of advantages of the transfer pricing but the transfer pricing is taken into consideration just because of the various advantages it has the transfer pricing first of all it helps in reducing the duty costs because uh, the the country the because the, because the companies, the branches are situated in different parts of the world. Different parts of the world have different duties, tariffs on the products and services. So this can be taken advantages of and helps in reducing income and corporate taxes. This is very important. This is why the transfer pricing is always, uh, the, the, uh, always beneficial, always argued for because it helps in reducing the income and corporate taxes. Then it saves cost, helps in internal accounting system. It does not only help in reducing the duty cost in the external external way, but it also helps in the internal way by the way of internal accounting system. Okay. Then what are the various risks that are associated with transfer pricing? Because transfer pricing is not so easy as it sounds, because there are so many complexities in depth affecting the uh, transfer pricing, but yes, so having said all this, as it is beneficial to a certain extent. Disagreement with the division of the organization. One department of the organization will be willing to use one price, the other department of the organization will not be able, will not be, uh, or is not ready to fix the price, uh, to fix the amount, and that, uh, to fix the value at that price. This starts a disagreement with the, div in the division of the organization, which can affect the peace uh, in the organization. Additional cost. 
because if you are transferring a product from one department to another department, there's so many costs involved, the transportation costs, if the, if the employees are involved, uh, then there'll be a labor cost. So that there, the risk is that if you are transferring for the first, if you are transferring altogether, you are at the risk of uh, attracting more costs. Difficulty in setting up the prices. Uh, the, the, there is a difficulty because there is no one common rule seeing which, seeing which you can set up the different prices because uh, the, the lower uh, the lower level can say some quote some prices, the, high, the upper level can quote some other prices, the various department quote uh, various prices that becomes very difficult uh, to uh, see how uh, uh, the, to set the prices. So it is also a risk and different risk for the sellers and buyers. Of course, the, the, there is not only the risk only for the sellers, there is the risk for the buyers also. <laughs> buyers sometimes lands into trouble just because of taking the transfer pricing. The risk regarding the collections, entrepreneurial risk and market risk, currency and financial risk, credit risk, product obsolescence risk. Coming to entrepreneurial risk and market risk, if, it, if you have transferred that particular product and services, but you did not got the expected response, then you are tend to be a failure. Then the currency and financial risk currency is so volatile across the world that uh, you cannot uh, you you cannot predict you cannot precisely predict what will be the currency rates and the financial risk. Uh, the, 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 there are uh, you, many number of financial risks which which cover which encircles uh, the person which encircles the persons or the organization involved in the transfer pricing then you have credit risk then you have very importantly product obsolescence risk this is a very common but is a very uh, the very uh, the, the disaster uh, very, very devastating risk because once you if, you, if one product, if one department transfers the products to some other department, what happens is that if that particular department have purchased other transfer pricing, but as but immediately when she goes or when he go, but immediately when the product reaches, the technology changes and hence the product become obsolete. There, for everything, there is a risk and advantages. Without a risk, you cannot do anything. So uh, remember that transfer pricing is an important because of its various benefits. Thank you guys. Uh, let me uh, wrap up this lesson.